All right, welcome ladies and gentlemen back to another episode of the bulking season and another bright and beautiful morning out here in Whistler. Today is going to be an intense back biceps and deadlift session, but first we need to go get some food because I had an incredible 10 hour sleep. It is currently 11 o'clock in the morning and we're about to go wake up Sean. Oh More little buddy. Oh. I love your evil mind. Oh, morning, Derek. All right, lads. Another bright, beautiful day out here in Whistler. It's a little bit colder than usual, but that is not going to stop us from killing this workout this morning. Calorie-wise, we absolutely filled out with about 12 pancakes and just a lot of bacon. So sodium-wise and carb-wise, we are loaded, meaning this workout should be incredible. The only problem is I left my chalk back in Vancouver, so grip might be a little bit of a problem, but we're hoping to work up to at least 405 pounds on the deadlift for some working sets. It might be the first time in my life that I'm going to be hitting 405 for possibly uh, five sets of three, and we'll see how it goes. I think this week will be filled with sets of three, just some heavy triples, work on that stuff. And, and the bonus is that the gym that we're going to has just a plethora of hypertrophy machines and extensions and all that good jazz. So super excited for it, and I'll catch you guys in the gym. What is up, you sexy people of YouTube? It has been quite a minute since I've last done one of these voiceovers. To be more precise, 2,592,000 minutes, aka a month away. I have not really been on the grind recently, but that is okay because right now we have decided to man up and just start recording these again, start putting in the work, editing these videos for the nice two people that like to watch. If the audio is terrible, we are on the school bus with a lot of screaming kids, and we have Carter Lewis right beside us. Ayo. I am so sorry about that. He will never be featured in this voiceover ever again. <laughs> so, what you guys are watching right here, as usual, we're watching it together, real time. My first time watching these clips back over. You guys are watching a nice five sets of three on the deadlifts. We have 365 pounds on the bar. And originally we were going to come to the gym and pull around 425 for these three sets, or five sets of three, but commercial gym bars have this awful tendency to just slip on my tiny baby hands. There was no chalk, and that is why you guys are seeing me pull with this freaking rubber band around the bar right now, because you got to do what you got to do to move the weight. The other thing that this inhibited me from was mainly just using my lats and my whole entire upper back into the movement because I basically couldn't even grip the bar. Chalk has really been a big component in helping me with my little baby hands over the past couple of years. I feel absolutely just invincible with chalk. Once I slap that bad bitch on, I feel like I can pick up 600 pounds. But regardless, you gotta do what you gotta do. So we got one of those little fitness bands, put it on the bar, it added a nice 2% increase in strength. So we were able to pick up this weight. Without it, I barely was even able to move 405. So this was one of those back workouts a month ago, back when I did not know what I was really doing, back when I was promising myself that I was gonna be doing these different movements to help my deadlift at the top and the bottom. However, you already know, training has been going super well as usual. In these couple months, my back training has been very different from the clips you're seeing here. But let's dive into what we're doing in this video. So after those couple sets of deadlifts, we always, always, always move on to some pull-ups because one, pull-ups are a fundamental good movement to develop strength, size, and overall just an aesthetic base. And honestly, they're just kind of badass. So pull-ups always after deadlifts, test the grip strength. Then we moved on to right here, doing some dumbbell rows into some seated, or I like to say, chest elevated dumbbell rows just to feel that full contraction because for me, um, the upper back and the middle trapezius has always been the hardest muscle group to target. The rest of the workout, amazing. I'm gonna put it in the description as usual because this is only about one quarter of what I did for the day. And as usual, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. 
Do we do it? Do we do it? Do we do it? Do we do it? There's a gap. There's a big gap. Oh my god, we have to. This is it. This is it. Go, go, go. Oh god. <laughs> terrifying. Okay, no, that, that was awful. Holy shit. That was terrifying. So we just had an incredible gym session. As you guys saw, I didn't bring chalk, so uh, deadlifts kind of sucked a little bit, but the rest was awesome. We picked up Alex because Marcus abandoned him, so he's coming with me to Sean's. So Alex had an interesting night. Would you like to uh, tell that story? Okay, uh, I'll start. 6 a.m. I wake up. Marcus clambering into my bed. No idea where he's been. I think I'm getting molested. Three hours later, we wake up. They're like, all right, see you later. I'm like, what do you mean, see you later? And they're like, we're all going skiing now. And I'm like, all right, that's fine. I'll just be here by myself. So, you know, I'm just home alone for five hours. Do the dishes for uh, Marcy. You're welcome, Marcy. Uh, then I walk 45 minutes from, from, uh, from their house all the way to get my haircut. And then I walk all the way from the haircut to meet this fat f and now I'm here. Wow, at least he looks really sexy with his new haircut. No, it's not worth it. Let's go home. Guys, so me and Alex just cooked up a delicious steak meal here. Alex is about to dig right in. He's been beating this meat for too long and it deserves to be eaten. I don't know if I have a big enough knife. Uh, I don't know either. Okay, give us, give us a little taste test. Today was my first time trying a broiler. We absolutely overcooked it just quite a little bit, but uh, you know, it was all good. It's all good. Protein's protein. Mm. How's it? How's it? Decent. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here at the beautiful Wrightsmith residence where chef, master eyes. chef, Mr. Matthew Wrightsmith has cooked us this delicious meal. Oh, we're here with uh, with with sausage. Hello. And Keegan, who's trying not to swear in this video. Nice change. Okay, so you just won't talk. But yes, Matt, thank you very much for this delicious meal. You're welcome. You've really, uh, you've warmed our souls. Oh, yo, he's quivering. He's qu Oh, don't do it, don't do it! Bounce, boys. Oh! Guys, let's go. Hey, guys. So we just wrapped up a delicious dinner. We are going to good. the lake right now. It's gonna be a good time. Oh, shit! Damien's going for a little sled here. So we found this sled and we're about to go to the lake! Shit! Oh, 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 o